Hi everyone, I'm glad to present our work on CVPR 2023 Post Bowman V2 Exploring Frequency Domain for Efficient and Robust 3D Human Pulse Estimation. The dominant pipeline in the literature estimates the three human pulse from the 2D pulse sequence. This is challenging because 2D to 3D lifting inherently suffers from ambiguities. To mitigate this issue, existing methods use extremely long input sequences. However, this approach suffers from two limitations. The first one is the poor efficiency in temporal modeling for long drawn sequences. Applying dense temporal modeling, for example, using self-tension for all video frames is computationally expensive. The second one is that they are vulnerable to the noise brought by imperfect 2D drawing detection. Frame-to-frame -frame interactions unexpectedly propagate and amplify the noise in each video frame. In this work, we show that the frequency domain representation of input sequences is surprisingly fit to simultaneously solve these two practical problems. We use this figure to show our motivation. This is an example of 81 frame drawn trajectory and its reconstructions with a few low frequency discrete cosine transform coefficients. Please note that with only 3 DCT coefficients, the reconstructed orange curve can capture the rough contour of the raw input. And please also note that the reconstructed curves are smoother than the raw input. The results show that low frequency coefficients are enough to encode global human dynamics of the input sequence, and they filled out noise in the drawing trajectory so that they are smoother. Our method is built upon PostMover V1. Here is an overview. PostMover V1 applies damp spatial temporal modeling for all video frames in the sequence. We make some modifications to PostMover V1. We limit the spatial transformer to see only a few central video frames to get frame level representations. For long term temporal modeling, we apply linear projection to the low-frequency DCT coefficients of the full sequence to get global features. With modality and positional embedding, the temporal transformer of the post boomer V1 is reformulated as a time-frequency feature fusion module. Therefore, compared to post boomer V1, the token number as input to the spatial and temporal transformer is reduced. Finally, we use a regression head to get the target 3D pose for the central video frame. Our method has three properties. The first one is that given the long sequence, we only use a few central video frames and its low frequency coefficients, thus reducing the effective sequence length and the overall computational costs. The number, the frame number and the coefficient number as input can be arbitrarily specified for a flexible speed accuracy trade-off. Finally, low frequency DCT coefficients filled out noise in the input 2D pulse sequence and therefore improved the robustness of the model. We show comparisons with state-of-the-art methods. Our method achieves better speed accuracy trade-off than existing methods. And note that when we increase the ratio between the full sequence length and the capped central, central frame number, the improvements are more significant. To show the robustness of our model, we add the Gaussian noise to the ground truth 2D drawing detection with standard deviation sigma and show their performance drop as sigma increases. And we show that our post V2 suffers from less performance drop while being more efficient. The size of the markers de denotes the computational costs of different models. Our post V2 also achieved the state-of-the-art performance on MPI inf 3 d HP dataset. Here are some qualitative results. post V2 infers correct 3D pose with unreliable 2D joint detection as input. For example, some input joints are missed or switched. We add Gaussian noise to a randomly selected 2D joint to compare the robustness of models 
and post boomer v2 obtains a reliable 3d pose with even highly deviated 2d joint detection we add gaussian noise to all 2d joints and post boomer v2 shows a surprisingly good temporal consistency Please scan this QR code for our project page where we place codes and video demos. Thanks for watching.